What is the answer, Rudolph? The answer to this one can be found in The Life and Meandering Down a Mile Road in a Minor Key, a biography of the life and lessons of Joseph Larson. What if I don't want to read that book? Will I ever know the answer? Well, I guess I'll find out. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Rudolph. I'll just do the equation myself. to invite our special guest traveling all the way from upstairs, Jesse Davis. Jesse, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be here. Um, it's a pleasure. It really is. So tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, so uh, name's Jesse. You know, I do a little bit of everything. Will someone to scratch your back? I can handle that. Check it, Travi, Redwell. My heart's a stereo. Maroon 5. Madruggy. Well, you probably know who I am. Been around the world with a lot of bands. Most notably, uh, the group that I'm currently a part of, Bon Jovi. Play mandolin for them. Yeah, pretty much it. I'm uh, kind of a one-dimensional guy. That is inspiring. Thank you so much for that. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Anything you've written or made recently that the audience members might enjoy checking out? Absolutely, absolutely. I recently read a great biography. It's by an author that I respect and admire a lot. Uh, one of the greatest authors, greatest humans, greatest philanthropists and presidential candidates we've had in a long time, Joseph Larson. He wrote a book called The Life's and Meanderings Along the Road in a Minor Key, The Life and Lessons yeah, the Learned traveling. from yeah, the, the Life of Joseph Larson, a biography. So yeah, I had a I had a part in that. Uh, he mentions me, so I love it. So I think there'll be a link, a link somewhere, right, that you you'll put in that people mm -hmm. can just click to get to the book. Mm -hmm. A great Christmas gift, your grandma, your grandpa, yourself. Yeah, everyone would love it. So Christmas is coming. Wow. Thank you, Joe. I mean Jesse. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any any words of encouragement you'd like to say to our audience members before they depart to their beds? I mean, out of their beds. Or their bed. Absolutely, absolutely. I love, I love encouraging young ones. I would just say, when your feet don't fly, give them wings. Give them Red Bull. Wow. A message for this Christmas: as you see your family and friends, don't forget to give them each a Red Bull. TM. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No, you're welcome. Thank you for, thank you for being here. It means a lot. Yeah. I'll be, be very tender. Um. Today, to celebrate Santa Day, also known as Christmas, also known as the Day of Our Lord. No, actually, that's Easter. Today, to celebrate Christmas, we'll be answering the... Today, to celebrate Christmas, we'll be answering the top ten questions that kids ask Santa Claus. Are the other reindeers jealous of Rudolph? Well, Rudolph can just answer that one himself. Jealousy is but a flash from the past. My demeanor is the longest Question number two. Santa, have you ever gotten stuck in a chimney? If yes, then what did you do? The answer is no. Everyone knows that Santa is actually an elf, which makes him like two feet tall and like half an inch wide. Question number three. What does Santa do for his Jewish friends? Leaves him presents to weird child. Everyone gets presents. Have you ever been convicted of breaking and entering? The few times that Santa has actually been caught by the authorities, he has gotten off scot-free for the exact same reason he got off scot-free for violating intergalactic law. Santa has too much money to be beholden to anyone. Plus, he can't go back to prison again. Question number five. Does it make you sad that some people don't believe in you? It's okay, because Santa believes in you. Because I'm gonna believe in you no matter what. <laughs> Question number six. When was the last time you trimmed your beard? Like, um, about three days ago. Actually, if you guys have been watching these episodes, you'll notice when I trim my beard, which is a little weird, but yeah. Oh, I guess these questions are for Santa. Santa's beard is kind of like a pine tree. It's always in bloom. It never grows nor diminishes. It just is. Question number seven. I want a little sister for Christmas. May I please have one? How do you make them? Question number eight. Are you bald under that cap or do you still have a full head of hair? Neither. Question number nine. Santa, are you really jolly all the time? Everyone knows that true happiness is found not in what you do, 
or who you are. Everyone knows that true happiness is found in Well, it's been a while and you heard the sirens calling and you don't head first I might just have Rudolph nodding for the answer of this question. And last but not least, question number 10. How do you cope with indigestion after eating all those milk and cookies that are left out for you? We also leave milk and cookies out for Santa, as you can see on the table. Santa deals with indigestion by listening to the Top House Hopes and Fears album, which you can purchase on Spotify, iTunes, or anywhere else that sells music. Guys, last but not least, I want to wish each and one of you a Merry Christmas, Hanukkah holiday. This is and a happy new year. This is the end of season one of Wednesdays with William. I hope that you all have a great time existing with your families. Until next time, bon voyage. Double out.